Schools as Community Hubs, The Lasting Influence of John Dewey's Philosophy. This exploratory paper examines the antecedents of community schools in the United States within John Dewey's Web of Life concept, where life and pedagogical practice are viewed in terms of their interrelations. John Dewey's contribution to philosophy and education are well known. Dewey, with University of Chicago President William R. Harper, founded the laboratory school in 1894. Architects of this era aligned desks and chairs to control cast shadows from the light beaming through the windows. The ideal classroom of the time held 42 desks in rows of 7 by 6 with a room dimension of 23 by 29 feet. In contrast, the design of the laboratory school sought to eliminate waste and isolation. The common theme in the curriculum was the web of life, and subjects were studied according to their interrelationships. Dewey felt that school has a fundamental responsibility to aid young people in understanding the larger world around them. These progressive ideas took school design from bolted down desks and chairs to movable furniture, natural lighting, fresh air, and expansion of classroom activities to the outdoors. The laboratory school model included workshops, experimental gardens, kitchens, laboratories, and accommodations for creative expression through the arts and drama. Dewey's work co-occurred with other influential social movements and activists. These included the City Beautiful Movement, an architecture and landscape architecture response to deteriorating living conditions in cities following industrialization, Jane Addams's and Ellen Starr's Hull House, located on the west side of Chicago, which was an early settlement house offering multiple social services based on the model of the Toynbee House Hall in London's East End, and Cook County Normal School for teacher training directed by Colonel Francis Parker, who Dewey, Dewey referred to as the father of progressive education. Dewey believed that school is preparation for citizenship, not solely related to the state, but a thoroughly socialized affair connected to all aspects of community life. Schools as social centers brought people together, promoted empathy, and facilitated understanding of difference. The continuity between home and school, of which Dewey referred, confirms the importance of the design of school experience structured through community in order to support a democratic society. For little over a century, the community school movement in the United States has looked to Dewey's example of school as social center. The Coalition for Community Schools and the Institute for Educational Leadership Advocacy Groups have outlined a hopeful vision of community schools from a Deweyan perspective. Through increased collaboration with businesses and nonprofit service organizations, more community schools have grown from their historic role as social centers to multi-use educational facilities. Coalition for Community Schools identifies these three important factors contributing to expansion in community school development, moving from individual schools to entire districts. Educators and policymakers are less focused on test scores. Community partnerships underscore specific community needs and support from public and private local, state and federal agencies. Other considerations commonly associated with community schools are identified in the four pillars model. Integrated student supports on site, expanded learning time and opportunities, family and community engagement, collaborative leadership. These pillars are described as being self-reinforcing. Another popular model is the developmental triangle. Each side of the triangle is connected to and integrating three key concepts, core instructional programming, expanded learning opportunities, comprehensive support services on site. The three sides of the triangle form a framework around the community, the family, and the child. Chicago Public Schools and the Sustainable Community Schools Initiative is a campaign to increase community school models in Chicago that began in the mid-1990s when Arne Duncan became CEO of the Chicago Public Schools. Funding partnerships led by the Polk Brothers Foundation in a public-private venture supported a pilot program to organize 100 community schools in the city. By 2007, 
Chicago Public Schools represented the largest community school network in the United States, providing a range of services to individual school communities in partnership with over 400 nonprofit organizations. Chicago Public Schools participating in the Sustainable Community School Initiative encourage a place-based approach in which schools partner with local agencies to support academic achievement, health, and social services, as well as encourage community and parental engagement. In a place-based approach, the local context defines the specific community program. Thus, every community school is different, varied to meet the unique needs of its community with programs and partnerships tailored to meet those requirements. Schools as community hubs support democracy and education through community participation and partnerships in design and planning on the front end and ongoing adjustments to program delivery throughout the life of the community school, which reflects Dewey's philosophy of thinking and doing and reflecting. Lewis B. Nettlehorse School is a Chicago public school serving children in kindergarten to eighth grade and is part of the Sustainable Community School Initiative. Nettlehorse School, established in 1892, is housed in a historical building designed by J.J. Flanders. The school is named for a popular German immigrant known for his advocacy of physical education and teaching of the German language. Nettlehorse served on the Chicago Board of Education for seven years during the late 19th century. Over the years, Nettlehorse School has struggled with facilities conditions, declining enrollments, and academic achievement. The recent turnaround of the school is credited to an initiative that gathered parents, teachers, and community leaders to get behind the project to renew Nettlehorse School and revitalize the neighborhood. Today, the school serves over 700 students. The outward appearance of Nettlehorse School is visually rich with interior and exterior artwork, murals, linear gardens, chicken coop, and outdoor classroom along the perimeter of the building at the corner of Evanston and Broadway in the Lakeview neighborhood of Chicago. Bright colors and foliage stand out against the historical masonry building. Nettlehorse School strives to be the center of its community through contact with nature that facilitates place-based advocacy through community-engaged programming, inclusive of arts expression and urban-centered gardening practices, open to all residents every day, evenings and weekends, while at the same time focusing on the students with resources for health, social services, and academic attainment. Nettlehorse School engages with nonprofit partners unique to the school community to address the needs of the whole child. Further, as one of over 200 community schools in the Chicago Public School District, Nellahor School becomes the center of the community it serves, offering an array of on-site programs defined by educators, parents, residents, businesses, and community agencies available on-site throughout the school day, evenings, and weekends. Dewey's philosophy of thinking and doing and reflecting are evident in the processes used by Chicago Public Schools Sustainable Community School Initiative. Nettlehorse School is an example of that process and has become a community hub that nurtures the whole child through the lens of the value of community experience. This would be in keeping with Dewey's web of life concepts that life and pedagogy should be practiced in terms of their interrelations. Community schools have a long list of precedents in the United States. These antecedents can most often be traced to the progressive era and the work of John Dewey. His philosophy represents a shift in educational practice of the time with lasting influence on pedagogy, school architectural form, and relationship of the school to the larger community. The social activism of the progressive era influenced Dewey. Since that time, public and private partnerships along with federal policy, have fueled community school development, leading to a range of community school structures. Thank you.